In today's Health Watch, we're taking a look at an alarming trend for millions of diabetics nationwide, the rising cost of insulin. In just the past five years, it's more than doubled. WNCT's Jessica Jewell joins us now in the newsroom to break down how this is impacting people in the East. Jessica. This is a huge issue locally. One in every five people in Eastern North Carolina has diabetes. Without insulin, diabetics cannot effectively manage their disease and risk dangerous complications. I talked to a local health expert who says people under certain insurance plans, which are common in our area, are getting hit the hardest. One option to make up for some of the costs, reverting to older, less effective treatment methods. Natasha Collins is one of many parents concerned about the rising costs of treating her son's diabetes. It really takes a toll on the finances because you are, you know, unexpected expenses may come up, you know, and you have to make a choice, you know, I need to get this medicine, but I also have to take care of this. So I really wish they would take in consideration that those things happen. Local physicians tell me they have patients cutting back on insulin or refusing to take it altogether because of these price hikes. After requests from the American Diabetes Association, a small group of congressmen, including Senator Bernie Sanders, has asked the Justice Department to investigate. Jessica Jewell, 9 on your side.